Hey everybody, this is going to be my first impressions video for Christian Kids Explore Biology. Um, this is our um, going to be our new science text, and um, so this is not a full review. This is just my first impressions from um, from what I've been getting as I've been planning the curriculum and planning how we're going to go through studying biology. So I'm just going to give you a little taste, and then once we have gone through a few chapters or maybe even completed the book, then um, I'm going to come back and give you a full review. So um, the uh, from time to time I'm going to be referring to the list so that I make sure that I've hit all the um, all of the points that I want to make. And this is kind of just a video that I was wanting to see out there and I kind of searched for and I didn't find, so that's why I'm making it. Um, I didn't see any other videos concerning this um, concerning this book. I saw a lot of good reviews, but I'm somebody that really likes, I want to see what's in it. I, when I'm, before I buy a book, I'm always thumbing through the pages, looking at everything. So for me, that's what I needed, and I didn't see it out there. So here goes. Um, so first off, this is what the book looks like. It's Christian Kids Explore Biology. And it is good weight. Um, it is a paperback um, uh, cover, so if you're going to get this book, I do recommend that you um, laminate the cover. Uh, what I did was I used self-adhesive uh, laminating sheets, or you can get clear contact paper. Um, if you're going to do that, I recommend that you use one of the tutorials online. Um, I didn't see any, I haven't seen any video tutorials but, um, for using the sheets or the contact paper. But there's a lot of written ones, and it does get tricky around the corner, so that's why, you know, you don't want to, you know, if you mess it up, you can ruin the cover of your book. So um, just be careful when you're doing that. Um, I don't know if I said before, but it is by Bright Ideas Press. Um, let's see. So the way that the book is structured is... And I turn to the first, to the um, table of contents. Each um, each unit has introduction, and then it goes into um, before each before each. There's a unit, and then there's a lesson. Before each lesson, um, not each unit, each lesson. Uh, there's vocabulary, uh, the materials that you're going to need. And they, um, from what I've seen, all the materials are very easy to find. There's nothing that's really expensive or anything. Um, so it looks pretty easy in order to do these activities. So the first bit of each lesson is going to have the vocabulary list, your materials needed, and your coloring pages. So there's these really detailed coloring pages that it has. And um, if you uh, have a kid that really likes to do that, it's um, it's not cartoon at all. It's very realistic, and so I guess you can use that to, um, you know, help them see how uh, the the animal looks and color in maybe realistically. Or if you have younger kids that you want to kind of involve in the lesson, you can give them a coloring sheet and you know as you're talking about it, so they can kind of feel involved too. But um, coloring is one of those things. It's like you know you could either like it or you don't. So. Um, so there's an introduction to each one, and then there is um, teaching time and then a hands-on time. So that's what each lesson consists of. So before, uh, yeah, so before everything, you get those three things, and then you've got, you know, your, your uh, teaching time and then your hands-on. Um, the things that it covers is, and it is a uh, Christian based, obviously it's Christian Kids Explore, um, so it is, uh, it does use creationism. Um, the first unit is creation, cells, taxonomy, biospheres, uh, food webs. Uh, second unit is um, photosynthesis, plant reproduction, fruits and vegetables, trees. Uh, unit three is taxonomy, bird, bird diet, um, bird structures, and I think things like that when you're talking about the structure stuff is another place where some of the coloring sheets come in as well. So it's not just, you know, fun activity. It, is, it does, I think it is meant to 
be part of of how they're learning. Um, unit four is um, monitoring and uh, I'm sorry, no. Oh no, I'm sorry. Uh, unit four is monotremes and marsupials. Uh, canids and sea lions and bears, monkeys and apes, aquatic animals. Um, unit five is human body, um, and that's going to include the senses and human reproduction. Um, and I think there's some, yeah, and that human reproduction, and that kind of goes, um, it looks pretty detailed, even though there's only there's only two things there, but it's, it looks a little longer than the other one. Um, oh, because it's covering the five senses. It's got taste and smell and touch and sight and all. So, okay, so that's the human. And then there's um, snakes and lizards. Uh, and it goes all through, and it, it goes up to... And so there's 35 lessons here. Um, alligators and crocodiles, turtles, uh, tortoises, and uh, ter terrapins, insects, uh, butterflies and moths, bees, wasps, water uh, creatures will include, and that's, this is I'm up to eight, and there's a mollusk. Um, then the last bit is sharks, crustaceans, freshwater life, and amphibians. So they, it covers a lot. Um, and then a good third of the book is the appendix. And there is, if you can see, oh, wrong. Appendix A through, what is that? A through H. And what, even though it is in the back of the book, you can do, and what I did was I um, went online, and uh, on the website, you can download the appendix. You can download the full appendix, and then I uploaded it to my Google Drive. So you can, instead of having to, because again, this is this cover is kind of fragile, and you can, um, um, you know, you don't have to worry about, laying it down on the copier over and over again and messing up your book. You can just download the appendix and then um, print it out as you need. And that way, if you have lots of kids, um, then you'll be able to do that. The appendix, and I want to just give you a little glance at that. Um, I hope I didn't bore you by reading all of the, you know, what it covers. But for me, that's important. Again, I'm kind of making the video that I wish I could have seen. Um, so that's why I did that. Um, so the first part of the appendix A is all of the worksheets that you're going to need. So appendix A is um, maps and forms. And so you're going to have obviously maps, but there's also all of the worksheets that you're going to need for observation and reading. And I know this camera is not that great but stuff like like that I just want to give you a little taste of what it is that they have and then they've got I'm not really sure what we're going to be using them up for but I'm sure you know it's important and the map of the US and then um, I thought that was a world map here did I just show that yeah that was a world map okay um, so that was A And then uh, Appendix B, so all the stuff that you're going to need for everything uh, as far as, you know, observation and worksheets is A. B is memorization and reference list. Let me move back to the paper. So for each chapter, there's uh, memorization, I guess this is vocabulary, and um, so things that so things that you can um, that you'll need for that, and it's for every chapter or every lesson. The appendix C is scripture memory. So there's just 
there's cards here that you can again you can um cut out or uh, I mean not cut out but you would you would print these out um or copy it or something you know whatever you need to do um see that was the D is introductions introductions instructions sorry and art is late slash early um <laughs> and art for ABC book and the ABC book is a year-long project that they have. And uh, as you go through the book, you're picking animals that start with, um, and I haven't really gone over this. I kind of just discovered it not too long ago as I was looking through. But you're kind of getting, um, you're picking an animal, I guess, based on, you know, what the, what the, um, letter of the alphabet is, so I guess like for A you pick one, for B you pick one, um, like A is antelope, alligator, uh, ant eater, ant, and then B is bison, buffalo, butterfly, so you're picking animals, and I guess you're using like one from each, from different types of species as well, and it's a project and you put it together as you're going through the book, and um, these pictures, I guess, are what you're supposed to, are, uh, are going to help you with it. And, um, so that, that's what this appendix is about. So that, that appendix is just that, uh, that project. Um, the next is appendix which is uh, just additional coloring pages, and these are the coloring pages I was talking about. They're really detailed, um, and the reason I said it would, might be, um, you know, interesting even if you have a middle schooler, um, which is what this book is, is recommended for, like middle school age, um, because it is so detailed. Like when I was little, I liked coloring good enough, but I didn't. I wouldn't have wanted to do such a detailed picture. I wanted to just color all over. So, um, so yeah. But, the, you know, I'm guessing, like, I, if it were, I don't have a student that likes the color, so uh, I'll probably, if I use these, I'll use it for my preschooler if we're doing something, and just to kind of include her. Um, and then Appendix F is Recipe, Supplement, and Supplemental Activities. So there's, I'm not sure if they're all edible, but a lot of them are, um, and they look darn tasty. Uh, <laughs> there's, um... There's recipes for what looks like each chapter or each unit, um, and each one has like uh, themes and like you can make dirt with like chocolate and uh, stuff like that is what I see here. Um, there's other little activities, so it's just plainly laid out little recipes and things that the kids can make together and then eat it. Um, so that's what that is. And then after the recipes and the other activities, there's um, just some, some vocabulary word searches as well in the back of this one. Um, and then... G is the answer key, so self-explanatory, you know, just laid out simple. And then H is suggested further reading, which, needless to say, is a lot. So those um, worksheets in the beginning with, excuse me, with all of those, um, you know, the reading logs, I guess this is what you would be reading. So there's a lot of suggested reading. There's pages and page lists. So I hope we'll be able to use a lot, utilize some of this. Um, and I think that is, yeah. So I think that's pretty much the appendix. The actual chapters themselves look like look like this. So this is the first chapter. 
I'm gonna go down a little bit. So you can see. It's just it's pretty plain, it's black and white. Everything and it's got cells and the cell models and um the uh uh, like labeling pictures and stuff are included in the appendix. So, um, there, you know, even though it has it right here, it'll, there's also the worksheets where you have to label the cell and label insects and parts of the skeleton and all that stuff. So, yeah, so they're not really that long. Uh, like I said, I think there's 35 lessons. I hope you can see this. I do not have the best camera. I know, it's, I know it's really bright, but just trying to give you know give you a sense of what the book is like. Yeah, and again, these are there's a a model of a plant um, that you can label. So um so that's the book. Um, I hope I did it for you with it again. Um, you know, I'm just trying to give you something that I I wish that I could have seen. Um. Uh, the price of this book, if you buy it new, is $35.95, uh, and that's on the website. But I got this before shipping. With, uh, I got it for $17, and then after shipping, it was like $20 and some change. So you can find it pretty cheap online. I've seen it cheaper than that. I got it used. Um, what else? Um, the grade level for this book is recommended for a third to sixth grade. Um, and then there is, uh, if you go online and you want to see other sample materials from uh, from this book or from any of their other texts, um, they have a lot of sample materials, which is one of the reasons why I was, um, even without being able to touch the book and flip through it, was to, it really helped me to kind of make up my mind that I wanted to at least try this one. Um, so you want to see some of that stuff, I'm going to put the link below to the website. Um, my expectations for this book air are pretty good. I think we're going to have fun. Um, it, it seems to have a lot of uh, emphasis on hands-on, and I think that's really going to um, really going to work for our learning purposes. Um, and uh yeah, so I have pretty good expectations. We'll see if it uh you know, if they're correct. Um so that's what I just wanted to give you guys is uh first impressions. We will be starting in this book, um let's see in a few weeks probably. Again, um if you've seen some of my other videos, you know that I am still um we're still finishing up a curriculum from last year and I do want him to finish it even though it is a great lower because of the repetition. Um, my student has autism and um, the repetition is really good for him even though we're going to be covering this stuff again this year. Um, so that's what we're doing and I will let you know once we get through some of the lessons if I have any bumps along the way where you know I thought something was going to work one way and it didn't turn out that way or if there's disappointments or anything in the book that I felt um, you know, we just did not meet expectations, or if heaven forbid I'll have to switch text, you know, I'm definitely going to put that in my video for my final review. Um, I hope that uh, this has been helpful to you. Um, and again, I, I know I keep saying this, but I hope it wasn't boring. I was just, you know, trying to give you a taste of what was in the book, and um, that is I think that is the end of my list. I'm looking at my list right now. Um, yeah. So um, I hope you guys have a good night. And thank you for watching.